Another protocol is what we refer to as a step sheet. This is another one of those things that's so simple. I wish I had when I had first began teaching. Um, so there's different ways you can use the step sheet. You can definitely use it with collaborative groups. But I, I want to also um, say that this isn't just a collaborative group tool. You could use this in your learning centers. Um, you could use this when students are doing independent work. But I'm going to share it with you right now in terms of collaborative grouping. So very simple. Just think of a list, okay, and a three-column paper. The, the column on the left is your checkoff box. I get to check off the steps when I'm done. The middle column are the exact steps I want the students to do and the order I want them to do it in. I've pre-thought that out the whole time. If step one is assign roles, you know, in your group, that's what's going to be in step one. It's not going to be what the first step of the actual learning task is. I'm going to start with the organizational tasks. The third column, the column on the right, is how much time should each of those steps take? Again, keeping kids on task, keeping the task flowing, and increasing neural activity here. Because most of your students have zero concept of time, right? They think, oh, this isn't going to take me any time, so they push it all off to the end, or, oh my god, there's so much work to do. I just, I can't even get started because I'm overwhelmed with the work. Their, their head games get in the way. So the step and how much time it's going to take. So the, your collaborative groups have the step sheet in front of them. There's the directions. Here's the, how much time each one should take. You have a timekeeper in each group, and you've got the big time on the, um, on your, the smart board in front of you, the overhead in front of you, however you're showing the clock is ticking, and that's all um, arranged. You turn your back. This is in the beginning when you're still teaching your students how to work in collaborative groups. You turn your back. The group is on task or off task. If you're like most of the classrooms I'm in, the group is off task. So all you need to do is very calmly go over and say, point to the step sheet, right? It's not about the kids now. It's about the organizing principle in front of us. What did you do last? And one of the students points to it or tells you, OK, what do you have to do next? It's just that question that guides students into what they're supposed to be doing. Every time they get done with the step, they check it off. There's that squat, squirt of dopamine. After a while, when your students get used to this, a great um, teaching activity is to then hand out blank step sheets. Because when you're creating the step sheets, you're increasing your procedural knowledge, right? We want that to be a, a, a skill that gets transferred to the students. So at one point, you might say, OK, here's your blank step sheets. This is the activity that you're going to be doing. And again, it can be a collaborative group. It can be an independent activity at their desk. Um, what do you think we would do first? What do you think we would do second, third, fourth? You know, so you're doing this general debrief with the class. How much time do you think each one of those steps is going to take? And you do it that way. After you do that, and you think your students have grasped how to do that, then you hand out blank step sheets and you say, OK, boys and girls, these are, these, this is what you're going to be doing. Fill out your step sheets. And then you just walk around and you get in proximity of the students who you think may still be struggling with that concept of time, because that's what you're doing. That's executive functioning. Um, our teachers who use this tell us that they see a difference in behavior in six weeks. This isn't an overnight trick. You know, This isn't instant pudding. It takes time. But they see a definite improvement in behavior in six weeks and an improvement in academic um, outcomes in four weeks. So it takes work in the beginning, but um, the payoff is, is huge.